All right, I received this question out of subject, but do you have a video on how to use Cakewalk for equalizing boss CDs and burning a new version onto new CDs? So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to take a CD like this that you have bought and you've paid money for, and I'm going to show you how to import it into Cakewalk. Now, I'm going to mind you that this is copyrighted material. If you're using it, use it at your own discretion. Uh, I don't know if you were trying to sample it or maybe you just want to re-EQ it or you might even want to do this for your own music that you had on CD or it might have been relatives that recorded and you just want to import it, re-EQ it, remix it, export it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Don't go anywhere. Stay with me. All right. First things first, once I pop my CD in, you should see... Windows Media Player or whatever player that you have on there might pop up and it may ask you, do you want to play the CD? Now, of course, I haven't done this in a long time. I used to rip CDs all the time. Well, you know, we all did that in movies. Sorry about that. You didn't hear that. Yeah, forget about that. You didn't hear that part. Okay, but anyway, uh, I'm going to rip this first song, No Matter What, Party All Night by Toya. We, I haven't heard this album in so long. So I've got it checked. Now, I could do the whole album. not worried about doing that. I'm gonna check it. Now in my rip CD part, there's a rip settings right here. It tells me a format. I wanna do it at wave, lossless. You can do it in MP3 or whatever format you wanna do it in. Uh, audio quality, it's gonna be the best quality. I can go to more options and it's gonna ask me where I want to save it to. I wanna save it to my music. And once I have that, then I am good to go. I'm gonna press rip CD. It should rip that one song. Hopefully, if everything goes well. Okay, for the second time, I'm going to fast forward this part. So you can see, and then yeah, they want to get back to what I'm going to do next. The CD is ripped, or that song is ripped. I can exit out of that, and I'm going to go to my music just to make sure that it's there. Oh, it's in the folder, Toyo, duh. Okay, so yeah, so it's going to be in the folder, whatever the name of the project is. So in this case, it was under Toya, and I found it, and I have the song. I'm not going to play it yet. I will play a snippet of it when we get into Cakewalk. Hopefully, no copyrights will happen on this, and we'll find out. All right, I'm gonna create a new project, empty project. If you hear any dryer washing noise in the background, just know that I'm doing washing and drying. I told you I live in this apartment, so it's always some type of noise going on, but I wanted to record and really get this request out as soon as possible. Well, I can do it. All right, so I'm in my project. I'm gonna go ahead and go to file. I'm gonna go to import. I'm gonna go to import audio, and then I'm gonna go to my library's music, and then Toya. Find the song. It's in bit depth. It's going to be original. Okay, it might have to um, convert it because I'm in 48. Hopefully this plays. Okay, all right, it does play. Now, let's say for some reason, I'm going to drag this out some, that eh, I like this audio. It's all right, you know, but maybe I want to put like a multi band EQ on it or something. I don't know. It's going to be under uh, dynamics. There we go. Sinitis multiband compressor. One of my favorite plugins. This is the plugin that you really want to use if you're going to go about uh, mastering. I'm going to put it on smooth. It's just going to boost the frequencies ever so slightly. All right. Um, and I know this is going to bang. So I'm going to bring this gain down some. All right. Rewind it. With or without? Without? With? Without. Okay. All right. So we know that it works. And yeah, I wanted to stop it before the melody comes in. Hopefully that didn't give me a copyright. <laughs> All right. Things are better now with copyright. It's a little easier now since the new YouTube uh, updated everything, basically. Uh, but anyway, let's say I'm good with that. And I want to export that just like that. Um, you can do two different things. Like say you wanted to get multiple mixes. All right. You can go about exporting this that way you know if you just say oh it's fine it sounds fine or if you want to go ahead and do a bounce to track and you can do a bounce to track and then entire mix it's gonna go to track two and i can do it that way and it's gonna write all of those effects to a new track this is a good way if you want to do multiple bounces all right so and then like i i can mute that I can just listen to this one All right, so it sounds good. Then I'm gonna take that track and then I'm gonna go to file. I'm gonna go to export, 
Gonna go to audio. Now I don't have to do it this way. I can just go straight to file export. I could have just clicked on this first track, exported it, and that would include everything. But if you want different mixes, I would do it this way. Uh, that way you'll have all your mixes saved down at the bottom. All right, uh, then you can do audio. And I can save this. And I'm gonna say uh, Toya Cakewalk. I'm just gonna say Toya Cakewalk, that's fine. All right, Toya Cakewalk. And because I want this to go to CD, I'm gonna save it in 44, 16, wave stereo, everything else is good. My entire mix, cool with that, export. And then after this, I'm gonna show you how to burn it to a CD. All right, got my export location, which is right here. Uh, I think I'm gonna drag this over to music and I'm gonna put it under that Toya, Toya folder. All right, so now it's called Toya K, yeah, Toya Cakewalk. All right, so I've got it right there. Now that I have it there, all right, this is the time I would pop in a new CD. But unfortunately, I don't think I have a new CD. <laughs> I don't really have no CDs around, laying around like that. But if I wanted to burn this, one way you can do it, if you have a burner like Nero, I used to use Nero, or if you want to use Windows Media Player, you can do that too as well. You can right-click on the file, all right, and then you're going to send to... Um, DVD drive, audio CD, right? And then it's gonna ask you to insert a disc. And then when you insert a blank disc, it's gonna write it. And then once you write it, you should be able to choose whether or not you want this to be a bootable disc, uh, which means you're just gonna use that disc to save files, like maybe you wanna save your data, or if you want it to be a music disc, and whether or not you want it to be playable in different formats, or not formats, but in different computers. Uh, like if I wanted to put it in my DVD drive or my TV or in your boom box or whichever, make sure that it works. All right. So I know once you get to this part, you should know how to do it. But the main thing was the export. So hopefully this does help out. Thank you for the question. You know, like and subscribe. You already know what to do. All right. Love you all.